the root canal entrance. Estimate the root canal length with the help of a radiograph and set the silicone stopper to two-thirds of the estimated length. Place irrigant in the access cavity. And introduce the instrument into the canal. Move the instrument in a slow, in and out pecking motion. It is important that very little pressure is applied apically. You will immediately feel that the instrument advances easily in the canal. Make sure that the amplitude of the movement does not exceed 3 mm and that you make only three consecutive pecks. After three pecks, clean the instrument in the interim stand. Then irrigate the canal. Now check that the canal is free with the help of a C pilot file size ISO 10. Continue in this manner until approximately two thirds of the canal length has been reached. Working length is now determined electronically with the help of a VDW Gold Reciproc. A C pilot file size ISO 10 is used both to measure the length of the root canal and to give an indication of the curvature of the canal. Make sure that the instrument is not pre-curved. Only a straight instrument will give reliable feedback about the difficulty of the apical region. Working length is reached when the third green diode illuminates. If the file goes to full working length, preparation can be completed with the reciproc instrument. During preparation of the apical third, you can use the motor's simultaneous length determination function. When preparation is complete, irrigate the canal and dry it with a reciproc paper point. The root canal can then be filled. The shape of the root canal which has been achieved is optimal for obturation with both cold and warm techniques. In a few cases, it is possible that the ISO size 10 hand instrument can only reach working length if it is pre-curved. In this case, a glide path is created to ISO size 15. Following this, you can continue with the preparation.